Hello and welcome to First Look. I'm Young John. Today we're going to look at Kingston's USB-C hub, the Nucleum. It's seven in one and it connects a whole bunch of ports into one USB-C connector. So looking at the box, it's the size of my hand over here. If I, I can just place it right over this. On the side, they have all of their social media addresses from uh, Instagram to Twitter and online. The back of the box uh, shows you what you can plug in. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and down here is the HDMI port. There's free technical support and a two-year warranty. It's the sticker. If you take a look inside the box, there's some writing in there about their limited two-year warranty. And this is the easiest unboxing I've ever done because this is all that's in there. And that's it, basically. It's really, really small. And if we take a look at the hub itself, look at this slim profile here and the attached cable. There's a USB-C port at the end of it there. A closer look at the ports reveals one USB-C, USB-A, micro SD, and a regular sized SD card. Right on top, you have HDMI, and on the other side, you have another USB-A and a power plug-in USB-C port. I can think of two uses when it comes to this Nucleum here. And one is on location. If I'm a photographer or videographer and I'm taking photos and stuff and I need to copy data from an SD card onto my laptop here, I can use this guy and I copy it directly. I take my SD card out of my camera and I can stick it into this SD card slot right over here. You can also copy micro SD cards if you're using like a small, uh, like a drone or a phone, you can stick it right in there and back up the data into your laptop. The Nucleum can support UHS-1 and UHS-2 when it comes to SD cards and micro SD cards. You also have the option of copying data to and from a USB flash disk. So here's the USB-C flash drive. You can stick that into here. You also have a USB-A flash disk that you can connect also over here. So you can use this to transfer all kinds of data back and forth to your laptop. Now keep in mind that the transfer rate is five gigabits per second, which is one gigabit is five megabits, no? 125 per gigabit, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So each of these ports is capable of 625 megabytes per second uh, transfer rate. Uh, not all of them at the same time, obviously, but uh, that's the top speed. So very useful when it comes to on-location uh, file transfers. And this guy is really small, so you can just toss it in your bag and take with you anywhere. Now, this is the use for most people where you have a laptop. You bring this laptop home, you come home and you wanna connect your keyboard and your mouse, your uh, monitor and your power. So that's four different plugs that you have to stick in to your laptop here, which is really annoying. You don't wanna keep doing that every single time. Uh, you're gonna wear out your ports, you know, eventually. So to save on that, you will use your nifty Nucleum here and connect everything to this port. So let's do that right now, starting with your mouse here. Gonna stick that into the USB-A port. And your keyboard's next, and we will connect that to the other side, the USB-A port over there. So we have two things connected, and now we have our monitor, the HDMI port, and that's on the bottom over here. Stick that in. So now we have three of them connected. And finally, we have our power port. Now this laptop is capable of USB-C power. So we're gonna take that and you see on the side here, this little power icon. So we'll take this cable, stick it in, and there we have it. So everything is now connected onto this Nucleum. And all you gotta do is plug this guy into your laptop. So let's open this. Turn it on, and with this one plug, you will activate everything. Our mouse is connected, our keyboard is connected, and our monitor is connected as well. This is super convenient. All you need is one plug. However, you have to keep in mind that uh, your laptop has to be compatible with power through USB-C. The older PCs can't. So make sure that your laptop is 
capable of doing uh, power and video over USB-C first. Now, no product is perfect and that goes for the Nucleum as well. And if there was something that I would improve on is the cable length. This is less than one foot long. This is about six to eight inches and it's connected to the Nucleum directly. So it's kind of short. <laughs> it's gonna be really close to your laptop. And the second thing is that it doesn't have any audio ports. Kind of wish there was an audio jack in the Nucleum, but it doesn't have that. But eh, it has everything else, so that's the good thing. And that's our look into the Kingston Nucleum Hub. It does away with all the cable madness uh, by plugging in everything into one manageable, portable uh, piece of equipment. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to check out prices, we'll leave Amazon affiliate links down below in the notes. Now, if you haven't yet, please take a moment now to subscribe to the First Look, Look With Two Zeros YouTube channel. We'll see you all again next time. Now, that's not the only card it can take. It all, all you, you attach all of your prefer, prefer, ah, peripheral.